Have you guys ever wondered how Mike gets all of those contacts in his POTA activations? This isn't it, but we're going to try anyway. There's a piece of software out there called Hamalert, and I'm going to show you how to set it up to notify you when all of your favorite YouTubers are on the air, so you can help us make better contacts and bring more content to you on YouTube. Stick around. Oh yeah, make sure to do all that algorithm stuff, like comment, subscribe, join, Patreon, thumbs up, everything. Everything you can think of helps make uh, YouTube a better place for ham radio. Thanks. Okay, so first we're going to need a list of who the YouTubers are. And there are a couple new additions who haven't yet added themselves to this page yet. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on anyway, but uh, give them grief in the comments for not being on this page if you don't see your favorite YouTuber on here. All of the links to everything that I'm doing are gonna be in the description below as usual. Nothing to worry about there. You can uh, rely on my notes, don't need to take your own. I'll only charge a small fee for notes. This is the YouTubers Hamfest page at youtubershamfest.com. And when you visit that page at the top, there is a link to the YouTubers Bunch members page. I'm gonna say page a couple more times. This is all of the current members of the YouTubers Bunch with links to their channels and names of their channels, and beautiful smiling faces, and me. So now we got a list of who we want, and we have to go and get the software. This software works on your PC, or your Mac, or whatever other desktop type computer or Raspberry Pi device you have, and also works on your iPhone and your Android phone. So for Androids, go to the Google Play Store and look for Ham Alert, and this will enable you to get push notifications on your cell phone. Or if you have a iPhone, go to the App Store and get Ham Alert. It's the uh, same thing, just different platform. Don't get too confused there. And then on your computer, go to hamalert.org, and that should take you to the login page unless you're already logged in. Let's get logged in. Okay, so after you get logged in, you are dropped onto the triggers page. You can see I don't have any triggers yet. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, one of the first things you're gonna have to do is go into destinations and set up all of your destination type stuff. So the very first thing, if you wanna use email alerts, you need to have an email address. I'd say it's common sense, but we know how common common sense is. The Ham Alert app, which is what I'm going to use. I already have my phone linked up and I want to enable push notifications and I want to enable push notifications with the Morse code sounds. That ought to be pretty interesting. Prima is a secure messaging app for Android, iOS, or Windows phone. SMS, you put in your phone number, that's not my phone number. The SMS gateway API key, put that in by going to Clockwork SMS and grabbing it. That is not my SMS gateway API key either. Uh, you can have it send alerts over Telnet, and you can have it go to a special website URL of your own. And uh, if you're a web designer, web developer, you know all about doing that stuff. I'm going to go ahead and save those changes to my alerts so I get those Morse code sounds, and then go back up to the top, and I'm going to set limits. Limit the number of alerts to five every 60 minutes. Limit the number of alerts per call sign. So this way, if somebody's really popular on the air right now, uh, you don't wanna get 300 spots that the same person's on the same frequency all in the same amount of time. So I'm gonna limit the number of alerts to one every five minutes, maybe check some band hopping. Per call sign, band and mode, sounds like the same thing, just a little bit more restrictive to that call sign on that band on that mode so you won't get a duplicate alert as opposed to the one above, which will limit that call sign everywhere. Per call sign frequency in mode limits the number of alerts for the same call sign frequency and mode. So band would be 20 meters, frequency would be 14205. Treat SOTA watch spots separately. This option counts SOTA watch spots separately from other spots. This allows you to receive SOTA watch spots even if you have received an RBN or cluster spot for the same call sign frequency and mode before. The other limits still apply. So those of you that are SOTA chasers might really uh, be interested in that. And Ham Alert, by the way, while we're down here at the bottom of the page, Ham Alert is made by Manuel Casper, HB9DQM. So thank you very much. I've updated the limits, and I'm going to go back into 
triggers and start adding in all of my favorite YouTubers from the YouTubers bunch. And by favorite, I mean every single one of them. Starting off in no particular order, not even alphabetical, I'm going to do a condition alert for the call sign of Kyle, AA0Z. And you need to add a condition. And I'm going to add a condition of the source being all the sources, Soda Watch, which would be Summits on the Air, RBN, Reverse Beacon Network, which would be for Morse code. Cluster is the DX cluster. If you guys don't know what the DX cluster is, leave a comment below and I will do a video on that. And PSK Reporter is probably going to get its own video because PSK Reporter is a special kind of awesome sauce. Uh, PSK Reporter handles all the digital modes, uh, FT8, FT4, JS8, Gritty, and even CW again, which is covered by the Reverse Beacon Network. So I got all four of those selected. I'm going to have it send an app alert and not an email. And when the alert comes over, I'm going to have it say, ever. All right, next one on the list is Dave Kastler, KE0OG. KE0OG. And again, I'm going to go from the sources of all the sources, send me an app alert, and have it say, Augies Unite. Next one up is 2E0UKH who is Chris from Digital Analog Ham. Next is DX Commander, source of all, alert of hey cow, call sign K5ATA, which you all know is good game ham radio and outdoors. Call sign for ham radio 2.0. Picked source, but didn't pick source. After that is call sign for ham radio crash course, K I 6 M N Z source, all the sources. Ham radio DX Hayden, DK 7 HH. And this app is nice enough that if you put in a call sign and you put in no sources, it will take exactly what you said to heart and give you no alerts because there are no sources for them. Ham radio now with Gary. K and four AQ and dollar sign AQ. Back to my basic programming days. And that's basic, not basic. Next up, Ham Radio TV with another Jason, KM6 FAK. Source, all the sources. And K6 UDA, Bob. And then K8 MRD radio stuff. Never miss a POTA activation again. And then KG6HQD Jerry. And let's see how good I can butcher this one. BA2PV. This is Labo Eline. Pascal, correct me if I'm wrong on this one, but it stands for Online Lab. And it's a fantastic website and YouTube page. Famous Sterling. Zero SSC, followed by Rob 741. Signal search Johnny. This is what I call him when I see him in person. Actually, I don't, but I probably might just by accident because that's how it is in my head every time I see it. Put myself in there just to be complete. There isn't any reason not to spot yourself. This way you can tell if you're actually getting out, if your signal's been heard somewhere. W6RIP Kevin is next. Now we get to some of the guys that haven't updated themselves on the page yet. Shame. K6ARK. Adam, for all of your lightweight soda needs. Modern Ham Billy. Billy's new to the group, so I might be able to forgive him a little bit for not being on the page. And then Jason, KM4ACK. And last but not least is the Smoking Ape. <laughs> Just kidding. We all know he doesn't have a call sign. All right, let's cancel that one out. There are your triggers, and I will show you right here what it looks like when you receive an alert on your phone. I set up a uh, alert for my club call sign and then put my club call out on the air and got the alert on my phone, and that's what it looks like. Thanks for being awesome.